Hey, how's it going? I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be watching Stand By Me from 1986 for the first time. I was a longtime fan of Stephen King back in the day. I read a lot of his books, but I ignored most things that didn't have to do with horror. The funny thing about this one is, I think that I watched like clips or something, maybe flicking through the channel as a kid. I remember seeing a scene with like leeches and a few kids running from a train, but I don't know if it was just because I saw the trailer or something, but it was ages ago. And then I got it confused with the Lost Boys because I thought this was just a group of boys that are lost. I don't know if they're lost. I guess we'll find out, but I know that it's not the Lost Boys because I've reacted to that. That's a great movie. Go check out the reaction for that if you haven't. The only other thing I think I might know is that they might be looking for a dead body because I've seen a reference to, do you want to see a dead body come from this movie? So I don't really know, but I'm, I guess I'm okay with seeing a dead body today. I guess I don't have a choice. Let's start the movie. But wait, if I'm going to see a dead body, is it a horror movie? I just always assumed it wasn't a horror movie. Somebody was fatally stabbed. Is it someone related to this guy, I guess? I was 12 going on 13 the first time I saw a dead human being. It happened in the summer of 1959, a long time ago. I was living in a small town in Oregon called Castle Rock. Typical Stephen King area. Oh, hell yeah, that's a hell of a tree for it. Smoking and playing cards. 22. Piss up a rope. Gordy's out. Oh, Gordy just bit the bag <laughs> and stepped out the door. Teddy Duchamp was the craziest guy we hung around with. He didn't have much of a chance in life. His oh, his ears all messed up. His dad was given to fits of rage. One time he held Teddy's ear to a stove and almost burned it off. Chris Chambers was the leader of our gang and my best friend. And everyone just knew he'd turn out bad. It's not the secret knock. Burn. These guys are so cool. How fun is this? Oh man, wait to hear this. Wait to hear this. Let me catch my breath. I ran all the way for the house. <laughs> I ran all the way home. Okay, great. You won't believe this. Sincerely, I ran all the way home. Wait, that's Jerry O'Connell? He was a little chubby boy like me. You guys want to go see a dead body? There it is. Oh. At the beginning of the school year, he had buried a quart jar of pennies underneath his house. Vern had been trying to find those pennies for nine months. The kid's dead, so it ain't nothing to him neither. And who oh, gives a shit if they ever find him? I don't. The train must have hit him. We had all followed the Ray Brower story very closely because he was a kid our age. You don't go squawking to the cops after you boosted a car, you idiot. So that one guy from summer school? I'm going to know like most people in this. River Phoenix is the only person I'm not really that familiar with, I think, of the main cast. He must have started walking on the train tracks and just followed them the whole way. Train must have come along and I'll smack go. Don't go see it. Don't go see the dead body. Yeah, we can even be on TV. Sure. We'll be heroes. Yeah. Billy will know where I found out. He's not going to care. Probably pin a medal on you, Vern. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> we'll all tell our folks we're tenting out in your backfield. You tell your folks you're sleeping over at Teddy's. Classic. They'll know we didn't go to the drag races. We'll get hide it. Nobody will care because everybody's going to be so jazzed about what we found. It's not going to make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> People aren't going to be jazzed to find a dead body. Come on, Bruno. I wanted to share my friend's enthusiasm, but I couldn't. That summer at home, I had become the invisible boy. Oh, is that the mom from Gremlins? Mom? Hmm. Mom, I can't see this. Mom! It's in Danny's room. In April, my older brother Dennis had been killed in a Jeep accident. Aw. Little Will Wheaton. I think that would be tough. I'd probably leave the room exactly as it was. I had a friend pass away in high school, and the parents kept her room exactly how it was for years. And we'd go over there and hang out with the parents still, and it was tough. This, my friend, is for you. Hey, Mom, I'm going blind. Hey, don't start with me, porcupine. Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. You found it. Huh? You found it. Yeah. Why can't you have friends like Denny's? A thief and two Phoebes? Chris isn't a thief. He stole the milk money at school. It was almost noon as we set out to find the body of a dead kid named Ray Brower. What the hell? You want to see something? Sure, what? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, man. What is it? Oh, did he find a dead body too? A dirty magazine? 
You want to be the Lone Ranger? No. Kids, you put the gun away. Is it loaded? Hell no. What do you think I am? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, who did that? Who's letting cherry bombs off out here? Damn, that was cool. You knew it was loaded, you wet end. I didn't know it was loaded. You swear? Yeah, I swear. Pinky swear. Oh, the ultimate. Hey girls, Ooh, the bad we're boys. Hey, come on, man. My brother gave me that. Come on, man. That's mine. You real asshole. You know that? <laughs> Brother's not very polite, eyeball. They better not pull a gun on these guys. Okay, okay. I take it back. I take it back. I feel a whole lot better about this. What punk assholes? I thought Kiefer Sutherland just looked like that because of Lost Boys, but I guess that's just his look back then. Almost too cool. The other guy I recognize from Nightmare on Elm Street, I think three, because he has one of like the worst deaths where like veins are ripped out of his like arms or something. Wait. I brought a comb. What do we need a comb for? Well, if we get on TV, we wanna look good, don't we? <laughs> a lot of thinking, Vern. Thanks. They suspect that this kid was hit by a train by walking on the tracks. So their idea is to walk on the tracks? <sighs> if we follow the tracks all the way into Harlow, it should be about 20 miles. Yeah, it might even be 30. Gee, maybe we should just hitchhike. We'll be there by sundown. That's pussy. That is a long way. 20 to 30 miles for kids to walk? There's no way. Look how tiny they are on the screen. We had to throw up at the junkyard. My dad said it's a safe well. Not if Chopper's there. Chopper's there. We'll see. Ha ha. Very funny. Was Chopper the. Junkyard security dog. Kind of hungry. Who's got the food? Oh, shit. You mean you didn't bring anything either? Why didn't you bring something? I brought the comb. Oh, bro, you brought the comb. What do you mean? <laughs> I you brought the comb. I brought it for you guys. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see how much money we got. Oh, I love kids. <laughs> They're such idiots. Prioritize the comb. 68 cents from Chris. 60 cents from Teddy. 7 cents from... I haven't found my pennies yet. <laughs> Poor guy. Just thinking back to when he was underneath the deck, I couldn't talk about it, but there were so many holes of him looking for his pennies. Aw, he really wanted them. I'm gonna dodge it. Why? Come on, Teddy man. Just like the beach in Get off the tracks, dude. That's terrifying. Even being that close, it could kick up rocks and hurt you. Or worse, like a railroad spike or something. I don't need no babysitter. I do too. Skin it. I could have dodged it. Whoa, he didn't skin it. Skin it. <laughs> Charlie and Billy were playing mailbox baseball with Ace and Ivan. <laughs> oh my god. Let's with you, Homo. What is it? What, are these guys gonna also go and see a dead body? You're up, Billy. Move it. Jeez, these guys are the worst. Literally drinking and driving, smashing everybody's mailboxes, harassing kids on the street. I hope they don't run into these guys again, but I feel like they will. Stand back, men! <laughs> Pair tubes, over the side! Legend had it that Milo had trained Chopper not just to sick, Chopper, sick balls. <laughs> Chopper, sick balls. Teddy's crazy. What's up, Come on, come on, man, move it out. He won't live to be 20, I bet. Remember the time you saved him in the tree? Chris Chambers never misses, does he? Not even when the ladies leave the seat down. <laughs> oh, right to the pump, man, come on. Um, I'm kind of tired. Go! Oh, your Chambers is making his move! The chance is fading on it! <sighs> They're like best buds. Love to see it. Hey, you guys been watching the Mickey Mouse Club lately? I think that's tits are getting bigger. I've been noticing lately that the A and the E are starting to bend around the side. <laughs> <laughs> this is really a good time. Vern didn't just mean being <laughs> off limits inside the junkyard. We knew exactly who we were and exactly where we were going. <laughs> <laughs> just kids being kids. I miss these days. We better go get the food. Chunk here it opens at three. Odd man goes. That's you, Gordy. Odd as a god. Four tails. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, man. That's a goocher. 
That's really bad. I don't like this. Nobody believes that crap about moons and goochers. It's baby stuff. <laughs> moons and goochers. I've never heard of that before. You lose, Gordy. <laughs> oh, Gordy just screwed the pooch. <laughs> shut up. I don't shut, shut up. up. I, I grow, grow up. up. And, and when, when I, I look at you, I throw up. <laughs> you look like your brother, Denny. I remember the year it was all conference. Quarterback he played. Boy, could he throw. There'd be some scouts at the game tomorrow. Are you going to see Jane after the game? Dorothy, don't talk to the boy about girls. Dad. You shouldn't be thinking about <laughs> Come on. Pop, did you read the story that Gordy wrote? It was really good. What did you write, sweetheart? You start in on the girls and his mind's all over the place. That was great. Aw. You play football. He just has to keep being reminded of his brother. Are they gone? Oh, no. Maybe they are lost boys, after all. They hey, were just gonna leave him? Hey, you kid! What are you doing there? Come over here! Oh, no, Stop him! Sick him! Sick him, boy! <gasps> no, he said sick him, boy. But what I heard was chopper sick balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna have to throw the hamburger at him. Oh, no, he made it, so that's good. Chopper was my first lesson in the vast difference between myth and reality. He's just a little nice guy. Wait, shit! Oh. <laughs> Do I, Choppy? Sonny, I'm gonna beat your ass teasing my dog like that, you little tin weasel peckerwood loony son. What did you call me? A loony up in the nut house in Togas. My father stormed the beach in Normandy. He's crazier than a shithouse rat. I'm gonna rip your head off and shit down your neck! <laughs> Holy fuck. I know all you guys, and all your fathers are gonna get a call from me. Except for the loony up in Togas. That sucks because you can see like Teddy's like got all like the army stuff. He was talking about Normandy earlier. Obviously like loves the stories that he's heard about his father, I guess, or from his father. And he's not well. Potentially all lies. You ain't my old man. You think that pile of shit was at Normandy? Forget it, all right? Just forget it. Well, this movie's a lot more serious than I thought it was going to be going in. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling everybody's good time. I'm not sure it should be a good time. You saying you want to go back? No, but going to see a dead kid, maybe it shouldn't be a party. Very true. I might have nightmares. You know, like old guts and eyeballs already a jump and grab. Shut up, come on, God God. Damn it! We weren't even close to the Royal River yet. We were going to have to get moving if we were going to make some real miles before dark. There's no way they're making it. That's so far. What are you guys so, doing? Yeah. We interrupt to bring you an update on the search for the missing 12-year-old Ray Br Like, I know where he is. The kid's gone. They're never going to find him. Not where they're looking. Ten years from now, some hunter's gonna go in the woods to take a leak, wind up pissing on his bones. I'll bet you a thousand bucks we find him before that. Who cares? If either one of you assholes had two thousand dollars, I'd kill you both. Carving cobras into your arm. I do remember carving stuff into my arm, but not when I was that old. I think I was, like, fairly younger. And thinking about it, it does seem more morbid than it should be. <laughs> just, like, bored. I think I use, like, push pins or something to just, like... Cut up my arm. <laughs> Idiot. Do you think I'm weird? Definitely. No, man, seriously. <laughs> I don't think he's weird. He's pretty normal. Junior high. My next junior will be split up. Taking your college courses and me, Teddy, and Vern while we'll be in the shop courses with the rest of the retards making ashtrays and birdhouses. <laughs> hey, I made a few ashtrays in my day and it was fine. You hang with us, you'll just be another wise guy with shit for brains. You think Mighty Mouse could beat up Superman? I saw the other day he was carrying five elephants in one hand. Boy, you don't know nothing. Mighty Mouse is a cartoon. Superman is a real guy. He can beat up a real guy. <laughs> would be a good fight, though. I think Mighty Mouse would get his ass whooped, personally. He doesn't have, like, heat vision and shit. I don't want to be a writer. It's stupid. I bet your dad talking. Bullshit! Bull true! Danny was the one he cared about, and don't try to tell me different. You're just a kid, Gordy. Oh, gee, thanks, Dad. Wish the hell I was your dad. You wouldn't be going around talking about taking these stupid shop courses if I was. He's a good guy. He just wants the best for him. He wants him to succeed. It's a getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Hey, 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 hey. The amount of, like, good music in this movie, I know the YouTube video is going to be terribly edited. <laughs> so my apologies. 
Why is no one the next train is to? We could go down to the Route 136 bridge. That's five miles down the river. We go across here, we can get to the same place in ten minutes. But if a train comes, there's nowhere to go. You guys can go around if you want to. I'm crossing here. I'll be waiting for you on the other side, relaxing with my thoughts. <laughs> you use your left hand or your right hand for that? Oh, Jesus. So this is like the one scene that I think that like, I just remember at the end, like they jump off or something. It has to be from the trailer because I do not know any of the rest of this movie. This would be terrifying. I couldn't do this. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, I guess I'd be like this guy. And I kind of looked like him growing up too. <laughs> Still kind of look like this guy. Not the comb. It's falling. <gasps> I lost the comb. Oh, that bridge is way longer than I thought it was. It did not look that long from the other side. I don't think I would have done it. Nope. <gasps> you guys need to boogie. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is too close for comfort. Holy shit. Come on, Vern. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> you got this. Jeez. Do they land in water? Nope. Oh, God. At least now we know when the next train was due. <laughs> well, that could have gone a lot worse. Uh, thankfully, they're all good. But poor Vern. He was so scared. I wasn't that scared. Um, okay, then you won't mind if we check to see the jockeys for Hershey Squirts, will ya? <laughs> Fine. Aw, oh, man! You got any more, Gordy? <laughs> Sorry, Vern. <laughs> Why'd you cook your dick? <laughs> be a small meal. Why'd you cook your dick? <laughs> to be a small meal? Oh, that was good. <laughs> These guys are too cool. And they smoke. That makes them extra cool. Nothing like a smoke after a meal. Yeah. <laughs> cherish these moments <laughs> what did well, i say they're the best hey gordo why don't you tell us a story uh, i don't know i don't want to hear no horror stories i'm not up for that man well the one i've been thinking about is kind of different it's about this python contest and the main guy of the story is named davy hogan like charlie hogan's brother if he had one good bird <laughs> good bird but he's fat real fat it's his glands oh yeah my cousin's like that it's supposed to be a High boy gland or something. High boy gland. <laughs> Is it thyroid? Is that what it's supposed to be? Even his little brother and sister call him Martas. But one day he gets an idea. The greatest revenge idea. The next contestant in the pie eat, Principal John Wiggins. I think I'd be terrible at a pie eating contest. When I'm recording this, it's Halloween and I picked up a pumpkin pie. So I'm going to try and eat one pie today. But I don't think I could do more than one pie. Editor Jay here. I ate exactly half of the pie before I was full. Hey, Lardass, how was your trip? Don't even think about winning this. Don't pay any attention to those fools, Lardass. Boom, baba, boom, baba. Yo, screw everybody here. The four-time champion, Bill Travis. Hands behind your backs, gentlemen. Hey, Lardass, chow down, wide load. Go. And eating with just your face would be even harder. I was talking about just eating with a fork. I could probably eat a pie. I was my just my face? No way. Cut. Cut. He's got to prove to everybody that he can do this. They're behind him at least, even if they are making fun of him. What he wanted was revenge. And right before he was introduced, he'd gotten ready for it. Ew. What's he gonna do? He just wants to throw up or something? Ew, just oil and an egg? A sound started to build in Lardass' stomach. But a hundred oh miles God. an hour. No. He's going to throw up all over the place. Before Bill Travis knew it, he was covered with five pies worth of used blueberries. Oh, how disgusting. Boss man Bob Cormier barked on Principal Wiggins. <laughs> all the blueberries. Mayor Grundy barked on his wife's tits. But when the smell hit the crowd, kids barked on their parents. A fat lady barked at her purse. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Lardash just sat Holy back shit. and enjoyed what he created. A complete barforama. <laughs> With a blueberry still in his ear. Oh man, that was the best. Just the best. Yeah. That would happen. What do you mean what happened? That's the they, end. They puked all over each other. What happened to Lardass? He maybe went home and celebrated with a couple of cheeseburgers. That ending sucks. So that Lardass goes home and he shoots his father. I like the ending. The barfing was really good. Did Lardass have to pay to get in the contest? No, Vern. They just let him in. Oh, great. Great story. Yeah, it's a great story, Gordy. <laughs> I just didn't like the ending. Hey, Bruno. Teddy just wants violence. What the hell? We talked into the night. Donald's a duck. Pluto's a dog. What's goofy? If I can only have one food for the rest of my life, pass. Cherry flavored pass. No question about it. What? <laughs> Cherry flavored pass is the one? He's definitely a dog. He can't be a dog. He wears a hat and drives a car. I think Goofy's a dog. I never really considered it though. God, that's weird. What the hell is Goofy? Not one of us mentioned Ray Brower, but we were all thinking about him. Are they even going to find the body? Do you flinch? Maybe it's coyotes. It's not coyotes. It's just ghost. I want to see the ghost. I want to see the ghost. <laughs> Yo, screw this. This would be actually really scary, especially for that age. I mean, even as a grown man, I do not want to be surrounded by wolves. Corporal Teddy Duchamp. Stands guard. Shut up, Teddy, and keep your eyes peeled. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, oh, Teddy. oh, Vern. <laughs> if anyone's interested in a fun Jerry O'Connell horror movie that came out the past few years, look up Satanic Panic. It's super fun. Mm. Uh. You having a nightmare, pal? Aww. Should have been you, Gordon. Ah! Wow. I didn't cry at Danny's funeral. Miss him, Chris. I know. Maybe you could go into the college courses with me. They won't let me. I'm just one of those low-life chambers kids. No one even asked me if I took the milk money that time. Did you take the milk money? Did you take it? Yeah, I took it. You <laughs> knew I took it. Maybe I was sorry and I tried to give it back. And maybe I took it to Old Lady Simons and told her, and the money was all there. Maybe the next week, Old Lady Simons had this brand new sugar on when she came to school. Just suppose that I told the story. Would you think that anyone would have believed it? Anyway, she saw her chance and she took it. I was the stupid one for even trying to give it back. I never thought the teacher all gives a fuck anyway. I just wish that I could go someplace where nobody knows me. I guess I'm just a pussy. <laughs> Aw. He's got the gun sitting there. <laughs> Look at this guy. The freight woke up the other guys, and it was on the tip of my tongue to tell them about the deer, but I didn't. That was the one thing I kept to myself. I've never spoken or written of it until just now. Ew, what the hell are they eating? Berries? I guess a more experienced shopper could have gotten more for your seven cents. We pressed on toward the Royal River. The reality of Ray Brower was growing. The idea of seeing that kid's dead body was starting to become an obsession. It's gonna stick with these kids forever. You're not gonna want to see this dead body. If we cut across this field right here, we'll be there in an hour. I think we should stick to the tracks. I say we go across the field. Gordy? Yeah. Take no prisoners! Vern's just like, come on. Hey, you guys, wait up for me! <laughs> Poor Vern. Ace, I gotta tell you something, but you gotta swear in your mother's good name that you won't tell anybody. You know that Brower kid? Billy and Charlie had managed to keep their enormous secret for about 36 hours. A personal record for both of them. <laughs> 36 hours, that's it. Maybe me and Charlie shouldn't go. Yeah, maybe you can go without us, huh? They're gonna get there at the same time. Then what happens? And we're gonna be famous. We're gonna be on every radio and TV show in the country. I still don't think we should go. Don't forget your combs, boys. You stated your position clearly. I'm gonna stay mine. Get in the fucking car. Now! <laughs> Two for flinching! Two for flinching! <laughs> hey. But you flinched. I know. Two for flinching. What? What kind of rules are these? What a son of a bitch. 
How are we supposed to get across this? We'll use you as a raft. Very funny. Hey, you know, it's not that deep. You can walk across. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we should have stuck to the tracks. <laughs> is it me? Or are you the world's biggest pussy? I suppose this is fun for you. No, <laughs> but this is. <laughs> oh my god, they're back and forth. I'm in the prime of my youth. And I'll only be young once. Yeah, but you're gonna be stupid for the rest of your life. You die, Chambers! This is such a fun little capsule of like being a kid. Like just looking back and fooling around, not having many cares in the world, even though they all have their individual problems at home. They come together to have some fun. Even if they are looking for a dead body. You burn there's something on your neck. It's a leech. Leech! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, they're covered in them. All right. Whew. Oh, no. Oh, shit, Chris. He's got one on his dick? No. With the blood. Oh, I would pass out. I would easily pass out right now. Gordy, yep. are you okay? He knows. <laughs> That would be traumatizing. I would never want to go swimming in a swamp again. I think Chris is right. Let's go back. What a surprise! The king of the pussies wants to go back too. Ah, get out of me! Ow. Break Stop it up, bitch! Break it up! Stop ah. it! Oh shit! He's pissed. I'm not going back. At the time, I didn't know why I needed to see that body so badly. Take out the papers and the trash. The cobras are on the move. Uh oh. Ace. What a dick. I won. Ace is actually like the biggest shit in this movie. Brower kid must be around here someplace. Teddy, you and Vern watch the left side of the tracks. We'll take the right. All right. So the body's around here? Oh no. There he is. I see him. Look. Look over there. I see him. I see him. None of us could breathe. Somewhere under those bushes was the rest of Ray Brower. Holy shit. The train had knocked Ray Brower out of his keds, just like it had knocked the life out of his body. The kid wasn't sick. The kid wasn't sleeping. The kid was dead. This is going to stick with you guys forever. Gordy? Why did you have to die? Why don't you guys just go over there and look for some branches, okay? Why did Denny have I don't know. It should have been me. Don't say that, man. My dad said it. I'm no good. He hates me. My dad hates me. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being in that position, especially that young. Like, I don't think I could deal with that kind of stuff right now, let alone being, what, like 12? You're going to be a great writer someday, Gordy. You might even write about us guys if you ever get hard up for material. I guess I'd have to be pretty hard up. He's got his buddy. What the fuck do you know about this? Oh shit. I wasn't planning on taking the body from us, was you boys? You guys came in a car that's not fair. He's ours. There's four of us, eyeball. You just make your move. Oh, we will, <laughs> don't you? You're little kids. Burn, you little son of a whore. He was under the porch. Oh, Billy. I wish we never boosted that car. No. Teddy, stop it. Why don't you go home and fuck your mother some more? Well. You're dead. They're not taking him. He's got a knife, man. Ace, come on, man. You're gonna have to kill me, Ace. No problem. Here we go. Protecting his buddy. I think Ace would have done it. Nobody's taking him. You ain't got the sack to shoot a woodchuck. I'll kill you, I swear to God. I believe him, for some reason. Suck my fat one, you cheap dime store hood. What are you gonna do, shoot us all? Just you. We're gonna get you for this. Maybe you will and maybe you won't. Oh, we will. Okay. They're actually gonna leave. Suck my fat one? Whoever told you had a fat one a chance? <laughs> Biggest one in four counties. That's why the leech went for his, not yours. Are we gonna take him? No. We're supposed to be heroes. Not this way, Teddy. Ray Brower's body was found. In the end, we decided that an anonymous phone call was the best thing to do. Good. That's a lot more respectful. 
Like, not trying to get credit for it. And although many thoughts raced through our minds, we barely spoke. We'd only been gone two days, but somehow the town seemed different, smaller. Well, see you in school. Yeah. Yeah. See you in junior high. Aw, this feels like an end of an era for these guys. Even though they're gonna see each other still. Definitely feels different. Penny! <laughs> hey Chris, no hard feelings, okay? No way, man. What a story that you have for the rest of your life. As time went on, we saw less and less of Teddy and Vern. Friends come in and out of your life like busboys in a restaurant. I heard that Vern got married out of high school. Teddy tried several times to get into the army, but his eyes and his ear kept him out. So what happened with Chris? I'm never gonna get out of this town now, my Gory. You can do anything you want, man. Give me some skin. I'll see ya if I see you first. Chris did get out. He enrolled in the college courses with me. And although it was hard, he gutted it out nice. like he always did. Last week, he entered a fast food restaurant. Two men got into an argument. Chris tried to break it up. He was stabbed in the throat. He died almost instantly. Ah. Dad, can we go now? Okay, I'll be right there. Yeah, my dad's weird. He gets like that when he's writing. He's deep in his thoughts, boys. Don't worry. That kind of hits you a little bit. That was pretty good. Thankfully, like all of my friends that I had since I was like 12 are still my friends today. And I've met more along the way. But putting yourself in his situation is like, man, there are certain moments that you can't recapture. And that would stand by me. I can't say it was a fun watch, but I enjoyed myself. You have a great cast of child actors just hanging around, going on a little adventure for a couple days, even if it is to go see a dead body. It is neat to see their dynamic. They all have like their things going on at home and the way that they comfort each other and feel safe with one another at times while still fooling around is great to see. And even though I didn't grow up in a small town or go on an adventure like this, I was still able to resonate with the characters, which is excellent. That's a testament to the writing and the acting. I really thought there'd be a little bit more conflict with like Ace and the gang. And while it did have somewhat of a climax, I guess it didn't play out how I expected. And I think the audience was actually supposed to think that Chris died on that day get by getting stabbed because in the first scene of the movie we see the news article about chris getting stabbed and so in the back of your mind you're thinking that and you're like oh this is the time so it's a little bit different and while i did like the movie don't get me wrong when i say uh it felt a little strange because it didn't have peaks and valleys like a regular movie does to some degree it's like a slice of life movie where you're just watching these kids go through an experience where it doesn't necessarily have like a narrative structure that we're used to in most movies these days. I do wish that I kind of watched this back in the day because I would have related to at least Vern because I looked basically exactly like him <laughs> when I was a kid. And had I seen it back in the day, I probably would have watched it a few more times just because it's a fairly light watch, even though it does have like a darker story because it's at the end of the day trying to find a dead body. It's surprisingly upbeat for what it is. I love the cast. There's a couple other people that I noticed throughout, like I think the guy from Total Recall with a baby in his stomach. It's been a long time, but I remember he had the, uh, the scar on his mouth. And I've seen him in something else too. Perhaps a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. I feel like every movie I watch has someone from Nightmare on Elm Street. This had at least one person. And yeah, that was my reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know there wasn't too much to react to. Like there's only like a few scenes that I could see people reacting to in like a crazy way, but that's really not my style at all. But I hope you enjoyed anyway. If you did, please like the video. Comment below with your favorite parts of the film or maybe some other Stephen King movies that I might not have seen. I've seen a lot. I've seen mostly the horror stuff, but I'm interested to see more or Rob Reiner movies. I mean, I am only familiar with a couple movies that you guys have already recommended. So I'm always looking to broaden my horizons. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with what I'm doing here. Usually it's 80s and 90s comedies or action movies or sometimes dramas. And then maybe the odd newer release if it piques my interest. Anyway, once again, I've been Jay. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.